Hi, I'm Marty Nemco. Have you tried recently to deal with the mental or physical health care system? It's notable for putting electronic barricades against your getting service. Long question trees and wait times with annoying music interspersed with messages such as, many of your questions can be answered on the web. Even if you're healthy, it can be difficult to cope. And especially if you're not, you may be tempted to give up even at cost to your health. You finally get to the appointment person, or increasingly the appointment screen, you're likely to have to wait too long for an appointment, hurting your health, or at minimum, imposing more time for you to be anxious. When you finally do get an appointment, it's often severely time delimited, sometimes a 12-minute visit, of which some of which may be with an assistant rather than the doctor, increasingly a doctor not of your own choosing. And then there's the bill, with co-pays only the start, and then you have to pay for everything at top dollar prices up to the high deductible, which restarts at zero every year. And that's true both for physical and mental health services. Welcome to our new world. Well, I want to talk about the pluses of old school. An unsung hero is that practitioner who stubbornly refuses such dehumanizing and undue cost cutting in favor of old school practices. I'd like to tell you about such a person. He is my dentist. When I asked if I could use his name, he said no, because his practice is full and because he doesn't like being in the limelight. But I will use his first name, Tom. Here's how he works. One, to get an appointment, you phone and Tom's competent assistant, Linda, picks up right away and you can get an appointment within weeks. If it's an emergency, same day. Appointments are made within one minute of my dialing. Two, Tom leaves an hour for each appointment, so there's a cushion of time for talking and, yeah, some chatting with the patient, plus potential for him to take some breaks in between patients. Three, Tom cleans his patient's teeth rather than use a hygienist. That allows him to carefully see what's going on with each tooth and the gums and to have richer relationship-building conversations with patients. Four, when Tom has to do a procedure, he does it the slow way, if that will help the patient. For example, some dentists fill a cavity by just drilling out with the drill three quarters of the tooth, which saves a lot of time, takes just a minute. But by using a hand tool and the drill only where necessary, Tom can save nearly all the tooth usually, which means the patient will keep that tooth far longer, perhaps forever. Tom, number five, Tom knows his limits. So, for example, the one time I needed a tooth extracted, he said, Marty, I can do this myself, but I think an oral surgeon will do it more cleanly. I'll refer you to this great guy. For Tom, it's the patient first, money last. And lastly, Tom charges patients a moderate rate if they don't have insurance. And for people who do, the, the bills that uh, he bills the insurance company at a rate such that the patient pays little or nothing. The takeaway? Whether you're a psychotherapist or a physician, physical therapist or dentist, ask yourself if there's anything old school that you would like to incorporate into your practice. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I'm Marty Nemco. I welcome your thumbs up and accept your thumbs down. I always look forward to your comments and especially like it if you hit the share button below. Share on your social media so that my efforts can have broader impact. And I am flattered if you choose to subscribe to my channel. In any event, I do thank you for watching. I am Marty Nemco.